like seven minutes to go and we were we we're struggling up the road and now it says rough road ahead so on this road look at this like a look tree. at this road we are in a ford focus and this is the road <laughs> We didn't realize that we needed five dollars to park here because we thought we could use our state park pass but it's a national forest so or get change we are trying to find change we have three dollars and 95 cents right now no four dollars and 95 cents we need five more cents to park here to be a good citizen and we don't like to break the rules <laughs> in the top, brush the key, and hit the road, we gotta leave, no kind of plight can change the feel, but if the bubble gum light shines upon the real, you know the deal, three sisters, I think, I just need something ultraviolet, maybe to burn off that fright. Strawberries and pineapple on my baby's bread. We much prefer. So I picked up some of these goo packets. They are vegan. So we're gonna try them because this one has some caffeine. And it's just supposed to be like 100 calories to get in your body. So we'll see how it tastes. This looks like aloe. Is this how you eat it? Ooh, that's really good. No, it's like ooh, a melted. Goo. It's like a melted. Oh, whoa! Like chocolate ice cream. See, because we're not sponsored, you know we're honest. This is really good. Four hundred and fifty amino acids, sixty milligram milligrams of sodium, forty milligrams of caffeine. Caramel macchiato flavor. Oh, more. We made it. We're at the top. There's the lookout. And we have the sisters, I think. We gotta figure that out. Uh, more mountains. There's a peak over there. There's one right there. There's also one right through there. We don't know what this is, but we're going to it. Where are you going? At the top, at the top. Ding. She said I'm a triple, honey, welcome to Trivago. Tell me who you know, who is you tripping for a follow? But all in the air like Showtime and the Apollo. Puffing up your chest, the next thing you know is hollow, but well, hello. I've been swinging like some jello. You got one in the fun guy, he gets some more. We're at our campground. Welcome. And I've been looking for a cheat code. Life don't come in a neat bowl, bringing the receipt home. We know, we know that. Keep your head up and your seat pulled back. Ah, how do people see you that can burden a man? 22 years on a personal brand. Hello. Hello. We've arrived at our campground. We're going to go take Kelsey's a look at the sun setting. <laughs>
all to ourselves. Ah, beautiful. Noodle. Where'd everyone go? Guys, check out my, uh, my light. Like a light. I'm going to pack up and head to the east, the east to get some breakfast and then we're going to go to Painted Hills, farther east, and Smith Rock. <laughs> closer <laughs> to us, but on the way back. <laughs> well, it's 9 a.m. We are on the road again, and we are headed towards Painted Hills after we get some stuff from the grocery store. Yes. Yay! <laughs> My voice is gone. Welcome to Redmond! We're here to get some coffee because we haven't fully woken up yet. We're just 30 minutes away. So, our tire pressure sensor light just went on. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're in the forest. Yay. We're gonna have to learn how to change a tire again. So we're turning around. We can't tell if our actual tire is like, it doesn't look like the tire is low and I don't know what tire pressure sensor fault means. So we're turning around, going another like 30 minutes back to, to a tire shop. To a tire shop and then- Just have a look at it. We might have to do Painted Hills tomorrow and sleep in our car. So we just got through the tire place. We were there for like what? An hour? An hour. hour, hour and a half. So apparently our temperature, no, no, no. Our tire sensor, tire pressure sensor fell off into one of the wheels and was like rolling just around in it. Around. So I think that's what was like causing an imbalance and making our car shake. So they didn't charge us anything. So thank you good neighbor tire. We're gonna stick with you forever now. Um, we just tipped her. Um, she was so nice and now we're gonna go on a highway and see if it's gonna shake again when we go fast. So fingers crossed, we don't need to do anything else and that was the only problem. Love you, Shia. I think the car is fixed, yay! I hate being in the desert, not knowing if my car is We fixed. just got our tires and brakes replaced like literally five days ago, I think, in preparation of this long drive. Or four so, hours or more. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad our car is fine. Okay. We're headed to Painted Rock now. We're gonna see if we can find some camping around there since we got kicked out of our lovely camp spot because there's nothing left. We should, we should just squat there. I know. We just, oh, I thought we had it for another night. I was confused Yeah, there's no the one dating. that can tell us it's wrong because yeah. there's no rangers actually there right now. So we're gonna see if maybe we can find some like free BLM land or a first come first serve campground if it's still available at 1.30 p.m. So. We'll probably like be pitching a tent in like a random deserted area, but. Or just a Whatever, car. yeah. All right, see you somewhere next. Uh-oh, that didn't work.
Painted Hills. We are on another rocky road. Yeah. So that's the first thing you do after you go into the tire shop. Get back on those rough roads. It is 7.08. We just set up our tent. We found a cute little campground. It was like 10 bucks and just randomly off the road on the way to the river we want to go to or a lake or something. So we are headed to the river to try and get there before the sun goes down because we bought a blow up um, boat kayak thing. I'm excited. Okay, bye. <laughs> I just blew this thing up. It worked. We used this thing. Cole and I came back to Cove Palisades State Park, which we were camping at last night. And we bought a boat, like I showed you. <laughs> it's working. And we're gonna pull it out while the sun sets behind us. I'm doing this with one hand. <laughs> one handed battle. <laughs> doing it one hand, it doesn't count. I'm pulling all the way. We're going the wrong direction. No, help me. Turn the I'll other turn. way. I'll turn it for you. <laughs> there you go. Uh, how are you feeling? Good. We have, um, yeah, I'm proud to be a boat owner. <laughs> Turn it around and let see that beautiful. Look at thing. that. Oh, gosh. That side, you got the canyon. Oh. All the way. sink. Do you just like the water? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, there's another frog. Look at this. <laughs> Buddy, I gotta wash my hands. Good morning. Morning. We just packed up. Ready to go again on the road. What? We are headed from our campsite that we found last night, last minute. It was called Skull Hollow. Yeah. Skull Hollow. Great campground. It was like 10 bucks. Pulled right in. It was great. Bathroom um, smelled well. Um, so now we are heading home, Cole works today, but we're, we decided that it's sort of on the way home so we're going to stop at Trillium Lake and take our new boat and just like float on the river for a minute or lake or whatever. Um, okay, see you there. We 
have made it to Trillium Lake and it's beautiful. It's the- As always. Yeah, the clouds are kind of in the way, but it's still lovely. Cole's gonna take some pictures and then we're gonna take the boat out. We are currently on Trillium Lake. Too wide. Cole looks cool, but he's also really it's soaking wide, us. <laughs> My whole butt is wet.